you had a meeting with your friend Trump a couple, not too long ago, a couple months ago. The media was pretty hot and bothered about it. Harvey Levin spotted at Trump Tower. Do you want to share with the room what you guys talked about? <laughs> um, a little bit, yeah. It, it wasn't Trump Tower. I'll name drop here. Well, I'll, I'll site drop. It was a White House, but the. It, 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 that's my bad. It is, it is hilarious to me. It's hilarious and kind of sad that, um, you know, I was in the waiting room in the West Wing for a half hour before I walked in there and probably saw 100 people, including reporters. So it just kind of, you know, nothing happened f until a week later. And then people were furious that I got in there. And, and you know, actually, I was in Washington for something different. Um, and went in there, and I will say that since uh, his, Trump's spokesperson said it, I talked to him about a project. So I did talk to him about a project, but we talked about other stuff too. And what I find unbelievable is the bullying in traditional media. That, that I think there are some traditional media outlets that are getting ruined by this administration, and it ruined by their own deeds that, you know, there are certain uh, networks and, and newspapers that are very clear on who they are and what they feel, and that's fine. I mean, if you, if you put yourself out as, you know, somebody who supports Trump or, is, like MSNBC, is against Trump, at least you get it. You know what you're getting. But when you pretend like you're objective, but you're not, and you are angry, and you are you know, you, you are trying to kill um, and bully. I think that is killing, and I don't think they know it yet, but I think some of the trusted names in news are not trusted anymore because of this. And, you know, what I, I think it's so preposterous that, you know, Kanye West went to see Trump, he got trashed. Steve Harvey went to see Trump, he got trashed. You know, they went after me for seeing Trump. So. I guess the solution is nobody should see him. It should be a boycott. That is so stupid. You know, it's like, and, 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 and let me just say, it's stupid because, you know, I, look, I disagree with some of the stuff he does and believes, and I'm not sure if some of the stuff he does is stuff he believes. And, and, and I'm not saying I disagree with everything he does, but I disagree with, a, with some of the stuff he does and believes. And... I went in there and I voiced an opinion on some things. And why would you not get in that game? If you disagree, the solution is to boycott? I mean, the guy has already shown that in the last three weeks, he's changed his mind on five things. <laughs> so if he's willing to change his mind, why would you sit on the sidelines, bully people who go in there? It's absurd. Bully people because he has a view you don't like, yet you could change the view by having people go in and talk to him. It is the dumbest thing I've ever seen.